Adorama TV presents Getting the Shot with Corey Rich. Hi, I'm Corey Rich, and you are watching Adorama TV. Adorama is the place where I buy all of my photo and video equipment, whether that's for personal use or for my professional use. Today we're going to talk about the ingredients or how to make great running photographs. Now what I'm talking about today is specific to running, but you can apply a lot of the same philosophy and methodology to any action-oriented activity, any sport that's dynamic and moves quickly. So I kind of build a checklist in my head, and it starts with the athlete. I want to use athletes that are authentic to what I'm photographing, in this case running. That means they're actually out there putting in a lot of mileage. And it's not just the mileage, of course. I want the right look. I want them to look like a runner. If I'm, for example, shooting for a running brand, a shoe company, a an apparel brand, I want them to actually have the right build that says, I'm a runner. You should spot them from a mile away. This is a legitimate runner. And I want that athlete to have the right stride. On my checklist, the next item is wardrobe, or the clothing that they're wearing. Now, of course, again, I don't want them wearing high-top basketball shoes and doing a running photo. Like, instantly a flag goes up. Not real, not authentic. So it's everything from shoes to shorts or tights to tops that it's, it's authentic. It's actually what you would wear, that the colors work together. Next on that list is location. I want to make sure that we're actually in a stunning location. Today we're in the Sierra Nevada mountains, my home, in a beautiful meadow. It's fall, grass is turning brown, a little bit of wind, but I think I can work with that. Then it comes time to be a photographer. It's to think about what lens you're using, the lensing, and the technical settings on your camera. From an exposure perspective, when I'm trying to freeze action, I'm really in that thousandth of a second to two thousandth of a second range. That way I'm confident that I can really freeze the action. I like to shoot shallow depth of field, even when I'm on a long lens, f4, f5, 6. Sometimes I'll go all the way to f2.8. That way I can really separate my foreground, my runner, my subject from the background. I'm going to shoot a wide angle photograph and I'm going to shoot a long lens photograph. I'm working with a 16 to 35 millimeter Nikkor f4 lens and I'm working with a Nikkor 70 to 200 millimeter f2.8 lens. With those two lenses, I can create an enormous amount of diversity in terms of look. So this is really working. I'm on the 70 to 200, and I'm actually compressing them. But there's beautiful layering. We have this grass in the foreground, yellow grass, then some vegetation that's higher that's almost golden, dark pine trees, and then big dark mountains in the background. It's really starting to work. So we already captured some really great stuff with the 70 to 200 long lens. So now I'm on my 16 to 35, and what I'm really trying to do is just look for visual opportunities. This grass looks so cool in the fall where it goes yellow or almost golden. So I'm making this picture more about the grass, a foreground object in focus, and then I'm letting the runners be out of focus in the background. And with those, again, the right runners, the right wardrobe, the right stride, it adds to that package of running photography. And that's what I'm trying to do, create a set of images that tells the running story. I hope what you take away from this episode of Adorama TV really is this concept of checklists, that it's whatever you're shooting, approach it systematically. In this case, I start by thinking about the athlete, then I think about what they're wearing, where we're shooting, the equipment I'm using, and the, and the actual exposure, the technical settings of that camera. And when all of those ingredients come together, when you combine it with a good idea and great communication between you and your subject, then you have the opportunity to make a pretty darn cool photograph. Thanks for listening. I'm Corey Rich. You're watching Adorama TV. Uh, there's tons of free content just like this published on a regular basis on Adorama.com. If, if you haven't already subscribed to the Adorama YouTube channel, please do so. And we'll see you next time. Be sure to check out Adorama's latest contest for your chance to win tons of cool stuff. Do you want great looking prints at low cost? Be sure to visit our easy to use online printing service. Adorama Pix has professionals who treat your images with the utmost care that you can count on. For a quick turnaround on photos, cards, or albums, use adoramapix.com.